<laughs> and how many, many of these how many, many of these establishments are you now barred from? Just the Scouts. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you banned from Scouts, Chris? What did you get banned for? Well, basically, I was kind of like a naughty kid, and then I used to have to go to the, my mum sent me to these square places like Scouts. And if you're in the Scouts, I apologise. If you're in the Scoutmasters, you're probably a pedo, but you know. If you weren't there. If you weren't there. Um, so I used to go, and obviously I was a bad lad, and I used to what, play weird little tricks, tricks on people. Okay, what sort? Of, what tricks, Chris? <laughs> What? Basically, I made an imaginary uh, juice up called Gay Juice and I fed it to them and they pretended to bum each other and then I got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Basically, the whole scouts were dry bumming people. Like, <laughs> <just sat> there, <laughs> There's absolutely yeah, nothing weird in that. <laughs> so, yeah, Chris told all the other lads at scouts that if they drank this special juice, it turned them into gay guys. So <laughs> they drank it and then all dry humped each other and got caught. Did you get caught? I think, I think I videoed it and then I got... Did you not get involved? You just made them squares do it? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. So he influenced them into doing it? I never drank the Did you... <laughs> you never drank it? Right, no. You ain't got stuff. You're not sitting it's not me, I got blame. So we are trying our hardest to battle on. It's a nightmare. It's just relentlessly raining. I don't know if you can see, but... We're just getting completely swamped. Um, however, the customer's come out and she's absolutely hell bent that we carry on today because she's got other commitments and so on. What was it she said, Pam? She said, you need to crack on. Yep, apparently we need to crack on because every other builder in the whole world would work in this weather. And she's sat inside watching telly, having a cup of tea and an apple. And uh, we should crack on because we are dogs. Oh, we are. Yep. Scum Lazy scumbags who do nothing, obviously. So we're not in the best of moods. We're getting drenched, and our appreciation for it is the customer telling us basically that it's our fault that it's raining and we should crack on. So yeah, hey. happy days. And if you're watching this after you've paid us, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a really nice person. Really thoughtful. BMP. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom. We appreciate you all. Enjoy the video. Morning, everybody. It is Nick at BMP. It's Monday morning, and all hell is breaking loose. We've got John A's have already turned up, and they're here trying to get in. We need to get his car shifted so we can get a lorry in. Biggest lorry on the planet, so I don't know if that's going to actually work out. We shall see what we can do. So it appears that everyone who lives here has gone out to work. We can't shift this car and we can't shift that car. So this is as far as we can get this lorry in. It's my mistake, I should have ordered it on a Moffit, but such is life. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unload it, put it on this grass here, um, and then I'm gonna show you the job anyway. Um, nice, beautiful little job, but the only problem being we're working way, way over there at the Mazes. And obviously our only access point is this car park. So there's a lot of, barrying and walking around so uh, yeah that's the only little thing on the job bit of a nuisance but such is life and we'll, we'll get it all moved yeah end up happening here is these lot have had a clever idea accidentally i was supposed to order i what, what i called a barrel uh, a skip loader apparently this is a skip loader i must have meant a trap barrel or a barrel loader so i've ended up with one ton dump patrol which is massive so now connell has volunteered we've put a ton of stone in and connell has now volunteered to drive round to the job about there's some bollards with about that much gap round so let's see what happens take it steady make me proud yeah. I must say, I won't 
recommend doing this. Oh, I don't even want to watch. I don't even want to watch. The idea is we'll drive it around there and then we'll shovel it off into a, a bar around the back of the job. Okay, that's the first one. Left a bit, older. Straight, straight, straight. Wow. He's only done it. He's only done it. Flipping Diesel's done it again, hasn't it? I like how he drives leading to the side like a gangster. <laughs> so yeah, the job is all the way. Yeah, go that way, yeah, on the front. The job is all the way up here around the back. This is too big to get around there, so. Let's leave it there. Stop there. So we've got a ton of stone around anyway, but we'll shovel it off there. The job is all the way. Let me just turn this camera around. It's all the way around this alleyway. Bit of a trek. <sighs> Get some steps in today, can't complain. We're coming round here and we are going to do this patio here. See, this is the patio area here. Nice little patio. Like I say, the only problem being is the distance and whatever, but these things happen. So we're gonna put a new recess lid in, gonna be Indian sandstone. Beautiful little patio. Took about three days, four days on it. Decent job. Like I said, the only problem is we've got to get everything round here. It's going to be a lot of messing around. So, first job, the lads have already started lifting the slabs. However, the customer wants to save them. However, we now need to reduce dig it, get it on the front, get a little pile ready. I think I've got a lorry booked in with DJ Projects Limited. They're coming just after lunch to take that away. We start laying some slabs tomorrow. Like I say, it's a good old trek. Do me Annika Rice lot. So we're around here. We're gonna start digging out this bad boy here. Folds is ready. For it to rock. Took it steady at the weekend, didn't you, pal? A few little vegetables and that. Overdid it. Overdid it, mate. Gonna be sweating today, boy. Already am you. There you go. It's rock and roll. Okay, so as you've just seen, we've dug out a few ton 
Uh, luckily, by the time we took the slabs off the top and we took out a few ton, it's a nice level, so we've got to come up quite high anyway. Uh, so we don't have to excavate too much. We're going to bring the top of slab up to the top of this step here, so there won't be a step anymore. Um, so it'll all run flush. So yeah, we've just got to basically bring the stone in now, which is what we're slowly but surely doing. As I've explained, there's quite a distance to be travelled to bring these things in. So it's taking a bit more time than normal, but yeah, we should get the stone all in in the next hour or so and uh, knocked about, whackered and, and so on. So the battle continues. Been promising this stormy weather all week, haven't they? And it's just clouded over quite dramatically. And now it's uh, starting to spit a little bit. So I think we're gonna get a bit of a downpour today. The boys are just uh, finishing up this last bit of road stone here. Loading it into the barrow. And then we, uh, that's the last bit of stone now going around the back. We need another half, one I've under ordered, but I've got enough here today anyway. The rest coming in the morning. Dumpers going, DJ's coming shortly to uh, yeah. take this load away. To be fair, there's only a couple of torn. But uh, I'm sure you won't mind. And um, yeah, and tomorrow we can start laying something. Okay, so that is all the roadstone around. The manor has been reduced, so it's slightly low now, but we've got to put a recess lid on top. Got another half ton of stone coming in the morning, as I slightly under ordered. I just ordered what I call a starter pack. That's when you're not quite sure what you need to so you just order some stuff for the Monday morning just to get it here to see so you've got something to to get at. So uh, yeah, that's that done for now. The boys just bring the sand and the slabs around for the morning. Speak of the devil, it shall appear. Ooh, hello, dog. Oh, excuse me, dog. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's us for the day. Morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning, and things have taken a turn for the worse. In true great British style, the weather has gone from naught to tasty and back again in the space of about six hours. It was predicted, we can't call it, it looks like it's setting for the day. The problem we've got is Chris goes to Germany, he's away in Germany on Thursday on a training course and I'm away on Friday on a training course. So uh, yeah, we've got to get a lot done, we've got two days to get this patio laid now. Um, so unfortunately, no matter what the, the weather today, we're going to have to get something done. As I said, to the midway point at least. So it's going to be a grueling one, but it shows you guys at home and potential customers watching. We don't just throw the towel in. We don't just give up. Uh, you know, we, we'll continue with it. Don't get me wrong. It would have been nice if we had a bit more of a contingency time that we'd have probably done half a day, got soaked and gone home, and, and you know. But. It's so not the way it's going to be this week. So yeah, let's get rocking and rolling. Let's get there. Okay, so the weather is calming ever so slightly. However, it ain't no fun. So, sort of lightly drizzling at the minute. We've just had quite a heavy downpour. But like I say, the whip must be cracked today. We've got stuff to do. We've got to get onto other projects. It's uh, one of them. This kind of thing that happens Quite a lot as you guys well know so oh my god 
taking the trek onto the job. Get in there, show you what's been going on. Okay, so majority of the stones in, as you saw yesterday. Just got another half ton just arriving now. John A's just pulled up. Went out and put, picked up a little gazebo last night. Keep everyone, uh, well, attempt to keep us a little bit drier. This is where Chris will be hiding most of the day. Hello. And Ryan. Say hello. Hiya. 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 So yeah, we'll uh, get this lorry unloaded and get laying some slabs in the uh, pissing rain. Okay, so John A's have arrived. We've got on a Moffat today, look, so it's a bit uh, easier. I'm coming up here on this forklift, get these, these materials unloaded up here. Connell's breaking stuff. Go on, Connell, show us. Working in paradise. Just another day for you and me in paradise. We're getting it done. We've got a cooker's Ebo. Just need the sun and a barbecue now. There we go, look. All over my fucking bed, you absolute sausage. Oh, shit all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. What a day. Your mum's an alcoholic on dog. That's your mum. You are, mate! <laughs> How dare you! Can't get the stuff. My mother's integrity. <laughs> what, what has she got in there? No, to be fair. <laughs> Sold it on eBay, didn't you? If you're watching quid. this, you're a whore, mum. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. Wow. So, we are trying our hardest to battle on. It's a nightmare. It's just relentlessly raining. I don't know if you can see but we're just getting completely swamped 
Um, mm. However, the customers come out and she's absolutely hell-bent that we carry on today because she's got other commitments and so on. What was it she said, Pam? She said, you need to crack on. Yep, apparently we need to crack on because every other builder in the whole world would work in this weather. And she's sat inside watching telly, having a cup of tea and an apple. And uh, we should crack on because we are dogs, aren't we, Bert? We are. Yep, so lazy scumbags who do nothing, obviously. So we're not in the best of moods. We're getting drenched and our appreciation for it is the customer telling us basically that it's our fault that it's raining and we should crack on. So yeah, hey. happy days. And if you're watching this after you've paid us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a really nice person. Really thoughtful. Joe, you know I'm gonna moan. I just don't think some people appreciate what it is. We're like, people, we shouldn't be working in this weather. First of all, it's not great for the job. And secondly, like, we're human beings. We're getting absolutely drenched. It's awful. And uh, yeah, and then to just have absolutely no, what's the word for it? No regard for that at all. And just come out and be like, yeah, you need to, yeah, basically like, oh, I'm not very happy. Like, you need to crack on like, yeah, this needs to be done because I'm going away on holiday and blah, blah, blah. And you knew this and da, da, da. I'm like, well, that, no, I didn't. And also, what can I do? Really, it's, 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 it's in. Whose is it? God's plan in it, folder. God's plan, as Drake would say. So, we shall keep battling. I feel like crying. Okay, so the mood is improving. The weather is a little bit better. It's still raining, but not a singer. I've given up with hair gate, so do as you will, people. Terrorize me. I can't. What am I gonna do? That's it, look. The curtains are back. We're getting there slowly, it's mucky, it's messy, it's wet, but we're getting done aren't we, Folder? Folder, on a scale of one to ten. It's like a whole informer song right now. You ain't got a stutter. You're not sitting up, it's not me, I got play, I'm gonna keep on going. Okay, so we're having a discussion here, and Chris has just mentioned that when he was a youngster, he went to Beavers and Scouts, and we said we're pretty sure Beavers is for girls. Yeah, said it was young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah this last, was last week. Last week. <laughs> but you think I'm pretty sure? I'm sure it's. I thought Beavers was for women. My Beavers are great suits. So what's the difference between Beavers and Scouts then? The age Beavers is for young. <laughs> and how many of these how many of these establishments are you now barred from? Just the scouts. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you banned from scouts, Chris? What did you get banned for? Well basically I was kinda of like a naughty kid and then I used to have to go to the, my mum sent me to these square places like scouts and if you're in the scouts I apologise. If you're in the scout masters you're probably a pedo, but you know. If you work there. If you work there. Um, so I used to go and obviously I was a bad lad and I used to what play weird little tricks, tricks on people. Okay, what sort of, what tricks, Chris? <laughs> what? Basically, I made an imaginary uh, juice up called Gay Juice and I fed it to them and they pretended to bum each other and I got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, the whole scouts were dry bumming people. I just sat there and went. <laughs> There's absolutely yeah, nothing weird in that. <laughs> so, yeah, Chris told all the other lads at scouts that if they drank this special juice, it turned them into gay. <laughs> gay guys and <laughs> they drank it and then all dry humped each other and got caught. Did you get caught? I think, I think I videoed it and then I got Did you not get involved? You just made them squares do it? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah so he influenced them into doing it? I never drank the Did juice. Did you? <laughs> you never drank it? You mad. <laughs> you won't drink it. I didn't drank the juice, bro. They so. it and we got kicked out. It was all around the campfire and I filmed them on a, on a uh, video. I bet he's still got that. I bet yeah. he's kept that. He'd be on B-Wing yeah, with my teacher, years, Mr. Kafra. Years later, I remember a weird guy ringing my mum saying, hey, can I get hold of this uh, gay juice? <laughs> <laughs> you got any more supply of that gay juice? What about your mates who became addicted to it and lost their lives? Once you're trying to taste of the gay juice, can't go back. You didn't uh, think that through, did it? So. Yeah. Anyway, we're still batting on. The weather, it's dried up a little bit. It's not raining as bad as it was, but as you can see, we're all completely drenched and miserable, but we're cracking on.
Well, that near enough completes. Should we call it the day from hell, Bert? <laughs> that's that's got to be one of the worst days we've had for a couple of years, isn't it? So it's literally like, uh, what would you call it? Heavy drizzle? No. I go, yeah, heavy rain all day. So we're completely waterlogged, but we don't give in. We've managed to, uh, with the help of our trusty little gazebo, get quite a bit done. So Chris is just trying to clean out the manhole. We're gonna have to reset that in the morning. It's too wet, so we're gonna we're gonna sort that out tomorrow. But um, yeah, we managed to get quite a fair bit done. Can't really tidy up. There's a bit of splash on the windows and so on. We'll sort all that out tomorrow. Um, yeah, hopefully we're having a dry day tomorrow and we can get on with it and get finished. So, uh, but yeah, I'm happy with what we got done. It's it, I think it's a testament to everyone's hard work today. So, um, yeah, Chris has just cleaned his trousers, look. <laughs> you can't, I suppose once you're wet, you're wet, you can't get wetter. So it was a bit of a mistake, but anyway, you guys, what we tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning and it has finally stopped raining. What an absolute nightmare that was yesterday. Um, yeah, tempers were flaring. I think everyone was unhappy. We try and have a laugh, but it's hard work. It literally torrentially rained all day for about six, seven hours of the working day. So it was a complete nightmare. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed today, we have a lot better day. Sky's blue, that's gonna make a massive difference. We can get on top of things. Things were left messy yesterday. We should, like I said, we shouldn't really have been working in it. We should have called it. Um, that was probably the worst day we've had this year for rain, if I'm honest, if, if I think about it. Um, and we should have called it quits. But um, we needed to battle on anyway because Chris goes away tomorrow and I'm off Friday. So, we, you know, we've got a contingency on time. And then I said to cap it all off, the customer came out and I think she got herself a bit stressed out thinking it wouldn't be done on time because she's going away. And, uh, yeah, it was a bit, um, I don't know, intentionally rude, but, yeah, it came across a little bit. Like, when you've been in the rain and the cold for three hours and you're dripping wet and you're killing yourselves and you've got electric cables getting wet and it's bloody dangerous, um, you know, and then to be told to basically crack on as if you're not trying your hardest was just like, felt a little bit unfathomable. But I understand, I think she was just getting a little bit um, stressed out. I think poor old Chris was a little bit annoyed because uh, uh, he was the one on his hands and knees tapping slabs down in, in in it was just it was ridiculous it was ridiculous but um yeah today's a new day and we'll crack on as we do we never give up i think we've probably been the only landscaping team in the midlands working yesterday it was ridiculous to be honest but anyway we've moved forward we're moving on from it all and we'll get it done so let's go around the back now see what's occurring fingers crossed things are still in the same place to where when we left yesterday it did kind of stop raining early evening last night about, well, about four o'clock. It went to a real fine drizzle uh, and then it stopped. So I'm hoping there wasn't too much movement, which has allowed the concrete or the cement to start to cure and to set. Uh, that's the problem with the wet weather, especially with the warm weather, is it uh, the concrete doesn't set as quick. or So the beds, so you have to be really careful. You can't step on them and stuff. So we'll see how it goes anyway. I'll stop boring you. I'll up out this van and we will get some work done. So, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I thought we'd be in more of a pickle than we are. So I'm quite happy with that. So, um, yeah, I mean, we've got quite a bit done, really, if you look. It's absolutely filthy. It needs a good jet wash off, which would be a job for the day. But, um, yeah, I've got to cut in down here, get this manhole in. I've got drainage channel going across this front here, piped in, and then uh, the cuts in at the front. But bar that, yeah, it's doable. So yeah, let's get this looking like a nice tidy job.
we're nearly there. The weather has remained pretty good. So we're all laid up. Just got to finish some work around here. Just going to wash it all down now. Give it a, a well, first wash. And uh, what are you doing, Foldsy? Clean the mixer at me. Clean the mixer. All right. We shall continue. So, as you've just seen, give it a wash down, starting to look like a job. So tomorrow we'll have to point, come back, point it all up, gravel up around the gravel traps and so on. But yeah, it's starting to look like a decent job. Get this lawn all tidied off now and get its garden clear. Okay, so we're about there now. It's had a good wash down, manhole lids in. Gravel traps are all been emptied out, ready to be graveled tomorrow. Good joint up tomorrow. We're just gonna give it all a wash down now. All the tools are gone, the lawn's about clear. Rock and roll. Okay, so that is us done for the day. We're gonna leave it to set now, it's a bit too wet. Obviously with all the rain and so on. Nice warm day today, so it should warm. Set the patio correctly, but it's all in and done, dusted. Put a bit of gravel in, we need to get some more. So tomorrow we'll come in, we'll brush it all in, give it another clean down, top the gravel up. It's looking good, looking tidy. Bit of collateral damage on the lawn, but nothing a couple of weeks won't sort out. But yeah, I'm happy. Good morning, everybody. So we're on our final day of this patio at East Bridgeford. It is slightly drizzling again, but it's not a problem because as you well know, we join up with water so it's not going to cause many problems i've got it a bit early it's 22 a however i just want to get on so i'm going to hop out the van and get some work done um yeah we've got a good few months coming up for you guys we've got some big jobs we've got a crazy project next week loads of sleepers and and so on and so forth so that'd be quite cool something a little bit different we don't really work with sleepers very often apart from that one we did um in skegby a few months back doesn't come up very often but this one's uh, got to be done for obvious reasons which you'll see um we've got driveways and some uh, really expensive luxury block coming up we've got a huge i'd call it a whole landscaping project for the whole of october it's a four-week job it's like we've got dj projects coming in we've got fencing to do patios driveway the whole lot it's, it's a big big job i think the driveway is like 170 square meters it's a big big project so looking forward to that one um yeah it is all go so with that said sitting here talking to you guys won't get things done so i'll hop out the van get something done okay so just arrived this morning things are looking a lot better than they did the other day so we've just got to clean it down again with a jet wash, 
point it all up, gravel it all, gone pretty clean. Let's get on with it. Okay, so as you've just seen, that is us all done and wrapped up. It's looking good. Another job done in a few days. Quite happy with that, especially with that weather early in the week. Gone's took a little bit of collateral damage, but the lawn will come back, give it a few weeks. Bit of sunshine, bit of rain, which is all we get. A bit of this, bit of that. But yeah, I'm happy with that. What do you guys think? We're having a nightmare. Everything was going well until we went to load the van up and we have realized that my tire on the van has blown out. So I've had to drive limp back. It's about what, 10 mile? And I've literally had to stop. This is the third, fourth place now to put air in the tire because it's just gone. Like it's, I think there's a puncture on the inside wall of the tire. So luckily I managed to limp it to a, a tire place now. So we're just sat here at, um, what's this place? Mr. Tire, I think, in Colton on Colton Hill. But um, yeah, my front front tire, I don't know how pumped up it's looking now. It's not too bad at the second, but we've only filled it up 10 minutes ago. But uh, yeah, we're now, so what was supposed to be an easy day has now turned into a bit of a nightmare because we're trapped. We're trapped and stuck here until it's uh, till it's done. But um, and I feel like I've paid a little bit over the odds because of the aware of the situation I'm in. So not that chuffed, but such is life. What can you do? I made the mistake of I think when you come in and you're desperate you end up paying for the they've only got the top tires in stock right but when you when you come in normally like you get the 60 quid don't you but obviously if you come in like oh, fucking, I'm gonna die I'm stuck in <laughs> my tires I'm, I'm dying Dig, yeah oh all we've got in stock's the 120 quid off <laughs> so my own fault for running my mouth off but then again I don't think they'd have done it straight away if I uh, if I hadn't have said it so what can you do Ooh. Anyway, we'll get it done and dusted and we'll get on with it. So after all the carry on, the boys at Mr. Tyre sorted me out. So I'm back on the road, we're all done. We're done for this weekend. So for me, the boys and smelly bugs here. 
Have a great weekend. I hope you enjoy the video and we shall see you guys next week. Remember, hit the like and subscribe button.